What's up, man? How are you? I'm good. Um, better now. Thanks for coming. No problem. Thank you for having me. So I'm going to take a seat. <laughs> you get it? And it's all camera. That joke works even better. Oh, man. <laughs> you on camera. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Set your expectations very low, and you're going to walk out of here thinking it's the best interview you've ever had. I'm sure I won't sit them low. That's kind of <laughs> my expectation. I'm sure you'll meet them. I hope so. I hope so. Talk to me about the single, man. I mean, it sounds great, and I don't know how the hell you get your voice that low, but good for you, man. Oh, well, I try. I do try. Um, yeah, take a seat. We, um, we actually came up with the song in, in not too long. We came up with the song in about half an hour. It hmm. didn't take long. Um, I mean, my manager and producer, he made the beat, and um, it was simply just a, a good feeling good vibe in the studio and you know I come up with the melodies first before I came up with the actual lyrics and kind of fitted and it was catchy and you know we went, went with it that way and um, as as an artist I like to come up with a concept for a song which I know can fit a good entertaining video as well because I think they should go hand in hand and they should both be um, you know cooperative with each other so when I made the song, I could extreme, then straight away thought of a video, and that was the concept that we came up with the video and the animals and uh, things like that. If people haven't seen it, then it's youtube.com uh, slash uh, Mason Noise Vivo, so I'm on Vivo now, so they can go and see the video on there. Yeah, cool. And I mean, I've seen you know another one of your videos that's so elaborate and like, I mean, yeah, I can cool. tell that music videos are, or videos in general, is a, a big yeah. thing with you. Yeah, I mean, um, I was an actor before I was. A singer anyway. I went to acting school and I got kicked out of acting school. Mm. Um, so that was probably what lead, led me on to music then. Um, but before then, yeah, look, acting was my, my first love and film was my first love. So um, that's why I always try and I want to, I'd always want to expand into acting anyway. So that's why I, this is a chance for me now to really be the, the full package of entertainment and, and combine film and making a movie and then putting the music to it as well. Sweet. But it always starts with the music? Um, yeah, na yeah, definitely. I mean, I always come up with whatever I feel is right at the time. And I used to like composing, I had to compose classical music for exams and things like that. So that always has an influence as well. And I love composing, I love, that was one of my loves as well, producing. So yeah, when we come up with the music first, and then when I have that video idea, it always seems to expand into budgets we can't make and do this and Yeah, do I mean, I was looking at that and I was like, shit, how much does this cost? Yeah, you know? exactly, and we had, you know, when you're an artist you've always got to get around them things to get what you want, but when you've got that positive vision, I think you can make whatever you want make happen, however, however you've got to do it, and um, we had to, and once you get that idea and you're stuck with it then, you fall in love with it and you can't leave it so you have to then do it and you don't want someone else to do it first so then you've <laughs> got to just, you know, it's, it's one of those things. Jumping back to the song, talk to me about, you know, what's, what's the basic um, vibe that people should take away from, from your upcoming EP? Like, is it, is it going to be more of like a take a seat kind of thing or is it a whole bunch of different representations? I think I've tried, to, yeah, I've tried to get a few varied representations of myself and, and different types of music that I, that I can do. I mean, there's there's slow song, there's a slow slow songs on there. There's there's the kind of 2000s vibe on there. There's the more recent vibes. But I mean, every every person that I've heard talk about my music so far hasn't been able to put it in any kind of box. They haven't been able to say it's urban. They haven't been able to say it's pop. It's EDM, which is a good thing. You you know. No, that's um, really good. I mean, I've had so many different. Um, examples of what people have said and to be honest sometimes it's harder that way because everyone's used to having everything in that box now right. um, but I think on another level when you're on a long-term scale then it's going to be something which is, which is incredible because you can completely expand over every single market and I think the EP is going to show that definitely because it's got every single type of music in there. And it's it's your first official one, at least that that's out in the states, and yeah. it's coming out in the fall. Yeah, definitely. So that's um, we've got a few, we've got a couple names still, which um, we're going to discuss about, um, which I want it to be cool because I want it to be perfect, and I want this to be something which is not just something which an artist would release, and it's just a, like a mixtape or anything like that. This is like a pre-album, and this is what people can expect from the future, and this is something which. If I was half, if this was to go out in selling stores, I'd expect it to go and up against Grammy nominations. Like that's I, 
I always have high expectations of myself, and sometimes it's it's not a good thing. But I'm a perfectionist. No, but, it's better. I mean, it, it, yeah, you know, God forbid, like your dream was just to come on my show. No, well, <laughs> this is where it starts. <laughs> I'm appreciative still. <laughs> so, how many songs are on the EP? Um, they're probably going to be around six tracks. Oh, good. So you're not chintzing out. It's not like a three-song EP. No, not at all. Not yeah. at all. I mean, I, I want to vary it up as much as I can and show what I can do as much as I can because I think when you're a new artist and you're trying to be different and bring something different uh, to the market, people are always going to doubt you first before they believe in you. So you've got to kind of bring as, as much evidence to the table um, because you can't ever you can't ever kind of decide what people want at this time. Um, you've got to show them what they want, and um, people don't know what they want. They just they what they 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 follow um, what's what's big at the time. So you know I've got to show them that this is the Mason Noise time now, and this is what you should be listening to. Nice. And I'm just getting a feel for you. I'm sure you're already thinking the full length album. Yeah, and no, the touring and all that. Oh no, definitely. That's yeah. that's that's all in the pipeline. But um, I'm not in any rush to release that because I really want the world to be ready and to have enough eyes on it before that comes out because I know it's special and I have songs which we've made four years ago in 2010 which I still listen to now and are still timeless that, and I know that I want them on that album and however long the process takes I'm willing to wait and I'm willing to wait and I've got videos um, that we've, we've already shot as well a few months ago um, which are massive videos and um, I'm going to wait until I know that's, that's ready and I'm going to put it out there Good for you, man. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for coming by. Oh, thank you for having me. Maybe you'll give me a cameo on one of your videos. You can walk by, we can shake hands, and then we can forget it never happened. Good. That's good. That's fine. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks very much for having me. <laughs>